The next step is to assemble the linear bearings to the y-axis frame. What we need for that is the component that looks like this. This is the base component of the y-axis. We need four linear bearings, four linear bearing holders, eight M3 by 16 screws and eight lock nuts. Okay, so if we place the frame of the, the Y carriage in front of you, that this gap is facing towards you and on your right hand side, it means that this is the top of the, of the frame and we need to assemble these linear bearings to the bottom. So we'll turn it around and we'll place the linear bearings in the slots provided put the linear bearing holder on top of it and fix them with two screws each now when you fix the screws when you tighten them make sure that there is a gap between the, the linear bearing holder and the laser cut component so that it only holds the, the linear bearing in place you do not, do not need to clamp the the blue component onto the white component. When you're done with that, the frame of the wire carriage should look like this. The linear bearing shouldn't be able to move relative to the frame. Now for the next step, what you'll need is the two components that look like this. Two M3 by 12 screws and two normal standard M3 nuts. So we will place them into the slots provided and we will fix them from the top side. And the nut will go into the slot provided. When you are finished with that it should look like this. Nicely fixed down. So for the next step what you'll need is two M3 by 20 screws, two M3 lock nuts, the GT2 belt, the original belt in your kit will be 1.5 uh, meters long. You need to cut off a piece of 700 millimeters for this step and you'll also need uh, one of the cable ties. So what we'll do is we'll put one of the screws in there for the other one we first need to put the belt in so if we take the belt we take the tip we fold it in two and then we take the cable tie and clamp the, the end together that it looks like that make sure it's nice and tight and then you can just cut off the the edge and then it needs to the screw needs to go through the loop with the teeth of the of the belt to the top and then you put that nut on you can tighten it a little bit to make sure that the screws won't come loose now we'll attach the heated bed to the Y carriage so we place the, the Y carriage with the top facing upwards. To do this we'll need the bed leveling kit. It will come in a small bag like this and it consists of four screws, four lock nuts and four small springs. So we'll use this to mount the heated bed onto the, the Y carriage with the wires facing, if this is the front, the wires facing to the back. and we'll use these screws and springs to 
to mount it. The springs will suspend the heated bed from the, the laser cut frame. So the springs will fit in between the heated bed and the, and the frame. At this point your wire carriage sh should look like this. So your, your heated bed is suspended from the wire carriage frame with the springs and once it's on the printer we will use this to adjust the, the level of the bed. Now what we need to do now is to solder a connector onto the thermistor wires. So we'll use our cable with two wires that looks like this. We'll cut off one of the connectors and we'll solder that onto the thermistor cables. We can make this cable a little bit shorter that it's just longer than the, the red wires. The last step is to insert the linear rods into the linear bearings. Now the only thing important here is that the linear rods that you use should be very very close to the same length, about one millimeter difference. Make sure the rods are clean and that there's no sharp edges when you when you insert the rods. Now you can put this away till further use.